in this video i am going to explain the angles formed by a transverse cell transverse cell means which intersects two or more lines so now let us name it this is l and this is m l m are two lines these two lines they can be parallel they need not be parallel in this case they are not parallel parallel means they do not meet if you extend it these two will meet somewhere so now this is uh, let us say this is a p p is the transversal transversal intersects two or more lines let us have two lines so now this line makes a total eight angles four angles at each line let us say 1 2 3 four four angles at first line m and 5 uh, 6 7 8 four angles with l total eight angles if you just consider this part is interior between the lines we call it as interior and uh, above and below the lines are exterior you can say and uh, this is transversal one side this is right side and this is left side or you can have same side using these parabolas these specifications you can name the angles let us name the first angle pair of corresponding angles pair of corresponding angles so they are on the same side pair means two angles both angles should be same side and both should be either above the two lines or below the two lines so that means one is above five is above one is above m five is above l so angle 1 angle 5 is one pair of corresponding angles and below that side only angle 4 and angle 8 below one side another side angle 2 and angle 6 this is one more pair pair 3 and 8 angle 3 and angle 7 okay so total four pairs of corresponding angles are formed 